Hey guys, what's up? Bob here. Today we're going to be playing some more Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney, and uh, we are talking to Mr. Grossberg, or Mr. Grodyberger, as Mr. White called him. Um, you. Dot, 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 Huh? I don't think he's noticed me standing here. Maybe I should clear my throat. Ahem. Jumper Jehoshaphats. Oh, you. What's wrong? You look so... pensive. Like an old man at the end of his days. Hmm? I'm not senile yet. I was just thinking about this whole mess. Something's really bothering him. That much is clear. Talk. Um, today's trial. So you came to see the trial? Yes, yes I did. Something was bothering me uh, all last night, you see? I couldn't get a wink of sleep. Really, what was that? Well, you see, it's just... Um, Mia's sister, that poor girl. My boy, I owe you my thanks, truly. I don't know what I would have done if things had gone poorly for the girl. Your refusal. I asked before, but why did you refuse a request for your defense? I think I have the right... I think I have a right to know. A right? Mr. Right? No, no, I'm sorry. It's just, I need more time to think about it, my boy. He does seem troubled about something. I'm starting to have a feeling I know what it is. Oh, okay. So, guys, I thought he was refusing because he knew that Edgeworth was going to be prosecuting. But it seems like he's refusing because of Mr. White. Okay. Sorry, I'm a bit slow with this stuff, but once I start thinking... Yeah. Anyway, so I paid Blue Corp a visit. Oh, oh, I see. Mr. Grossberg, I have to admit, something has been bothering me. Oh, what is it? Well, out with it, my boy. You see, it's just... That big painting. Mr. Grossberg, sir. There was a giant painting hanging right here the other day, was there not? The one you said you had no intention of parting with? Well, I saw it today. It was in the CEO's office at Blue Corp, Red White's office. So, you noticed. I suppose I should have guessed you would. It's a large painting. And I'm an ace attorney. Mr. Grossberg, I know you uh, and Mr. White are connected somehow. C connected you say? Yes, and I know what it is. Um... <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Your lovers... <laughs> I gotta click it. I gotta click it. Your lovers. It's not something I can claim to understand. But you and Mr. White are lovers, aren't you? What? My boy. You sent that painting to him. As a sign. A sign of undying love. M my, my, my boy, please. You're letting your fantasies, fancies run away with you. Where do you get these bizarre ideas? I, I don't understand how you could... That's because I'm not. We're not. Don't be ridiculous. Enough! I'll swallow my pride and tell you all. I knew it! They are lovers! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this is the best game ever. Okay, so I gotta hear what he says. No, no we are not lovers! <laughs> Okay, here we go. Red White is a man who makes his living through intimidation. Blue Corp is a company that excels in finding people's weaknesses, I'm afraid. I've been paying them for 15 years now. 15 years? All because of the DL6 incident, as you may have guessed. The name on the back of those photographs. As you suspected, I could not stand in defense of Maya because of this. White would have destroyed me if I did. So that's the connection. It's hard for me to tell you this, my boy, but arresting Red White will, uh, will be nigh impossible. Impossible? Why? He has information on everyone. It gives him an iron grip. He owns judges, attorneys, prosecutors, police, and politicians. What? They're bound, unable to do harm themselves, and therefore to hit, er, to, uh, unable to do harm to themselves and therefore to him. Don't look at me like that. What, do, what you see is nothing more than the weight of many years. What is this DL6 incident? What is the DL6 incident? 
DL6 is nothing more than the sorting code the police gave the case. It was 15 years ago now. I received a request from a medium. A spirit medium. A medium? Her name was Misty Fay. Okay, so this is the mom. Fay. Indeed, she was Mia's mother. She had been investigating a murder at the bequest of the police. And she failed. As a result, the police called her a fraud. This is what Maya was talking about the other day. I did all I could for her, and in the end, cleared her of wrongdoing. That murder case, however, remains unsolved to this day. The case is the DL6 incident. But why were you blackmailed over this, Mr. Gersberg? The DL6 incident was top secret at the time. It made sense, the police didn't want people to know they were using a medium. They couldn't let people know. But one person found out. I... I told him. <gasps> you jerk! You told White? He offered me riches. It's an embarrassment to me now. Because I talked, the police were mocked far and wide. In secret, they began looking for the one who sold them out. Of course, White heard about it and came to me. Only this time, the offer was blackmail. I see. White, uh, White controls the law of the country as he sees fit. Yet if I, uh, if you could, if you would still challenge him, have a close look at uh, Mia's office. Mia's office? She followed his every move for years. She may have recorded something of what she found. Okay. Thanks, bro. Okay. So, fa what? Wrong thing. Fan company law offices. It's funny, looking at this room, it seems so normal. Hard to imagine a murder took place here. Mr. Grossberg said that there would be clues. Maybe I should have another look. Okay, let's examine. I'm still thinking there's something with that phone. Can I examine it? Mia's desk, perfectly clean, as always. The only thing that's missing is Mia. Ah, man, this is gonna drive me nuts. But I remember they said the screws were off in the phone. All the cases the chief ever worked on are uh, filed here. They're in alphabetical order. Let's take a look. Which file should I look at? A through I, right? Because it's like DL6 or whatever? A, B, F, Misty Faye. That's me and Maya's mother. Hmm, should I take a look? Read it. I have tarnished the Faye name, leaving only these words, my mother vanished. I was determined to find the one who had made my mother blame herself this way. Using the ESP that runs in my family, I held an audience with the dead. Finally, the names of two men surfaced. One was Marvin Grossberg, a lawyer who sold my mother's information for riches. The other was the man who sold uh, that information to the press. This parasite who makes his fortune on threats and coercion. His name is... Hmm, the record stops there. So, uh, so me and new Grossberg. And she knew the other guy, too, but he must have ripped it out or something. Actually, let's look for some more clues in this. Might as well look at them all, right? Let's see, J through S. Nothing much in here. Maybe I'll just skim over this. Skim. Why not? So, well, no harm in flipping through it a bit, I guess. The biggest part here at the end is S. Suicide. Ew. She has a collection of suicide reports. There's politician, policeman... I knew it! There's writing on most of these in pencil. White. This is Mia's handwriting. Wait, I get it. Mia thought he was involved in these suicides. White drove them all to... I can use these newspaper clippings. Hmm, let's find the most disturbing one. Newspaper clippings added to the court record. Shall I check Mia's files once more? Yes, check them. T through Z. T, I know, W, wait. The entire W section is missing. Was it taken? It must have been taken. Let's examine this stuff over here. Mia's favorite potted plant. I guess I'll have to water it now. There's still this thing that, like, broke the glass. The sky is blue and so am I. There's that hotel right across the way. Anything else I can look at? Mia's favorite blah blah blah. blah. Okay. I'm going over everything. Okay. 
Can I read these newspaper clippings? Hmm. Okay. Anything else? Okay. Let's go back. Hmm. Now where do I go? Let's talk to this guy. No, wait, hold up. Present... Let's present these newspaper clippings. I found this. Mia's files. So she was investigating Red White, as I expected. Well, if you wanted to challenge him, you could present this in court. Not a bad idea. Let's see. Sorry, my boy, I don't think I can help you with that. Okay. Worth a shot. Anything else I can present to him that he might know anything about? Sorry, my boy, bro. Dang, I was hoping you could have some insight or something. Okay. Can I talk to him about anything else? Nah, it doesn't look like it. So what if I go back? Let's go to the detention center. Apparently, Miss May is in questioning. I doubt they'll let me talk to her today. Anything else I can examine here? Maybe the chair or something? I already examined that dude. Hmm. Man, she's probably gonna go all psycho mode on the on whoever uh, goes. Let's see if I can talk to the bellboy again. Ooh, the bellboy's not here. I can examine this drawer. The screwdriver is still stuck in the drawer. I better not touch it. No telling what the bellboy would do to me. <laughs> wow. Okay, so I guess I'm stuck going back to Blue Corp, right? Let's get him. Well, aren't you persistent? Sorry, but there's something I have to ask you. Mr. Lawyer, I really hate having to repeat myself, but it seems the message has not yet penetrated your thick skull. Stop bothering me. If you try my patience further, I fear a nasty accident may occur. Do I make myself clear? Transparent. Think we're past these. Okay, so I gotta put him on the spot. Let's, uh... Let's talk about blackmail. Aha! There's no point in asking so... I need some evidence so I can use his ammo. Okay. Um... What? Huh? I don't know what he said. I, I wasn't really looking. Let's present some evidence. This is the only clue that uh, Mia left me. I better make this one count. Mr. White, see this? It's an article describing the suicide of a politician. He was embezzling secret government funds. Then one day, word got leaked to the press. The very next day, he took his own life. And this concerns me how? I found this article in, my, uh, in Mia's office. Miss Mia? She had a file uh, filled with articles like this. Every one of them was labeled with a single word. White. Mr. White, I know what you did to this politician. Um. You spied on him, you blackmailed him. Um. Let's say you blackmailed him. You were blackmailing him. Blackmail? Not just him, either. You were threatening and coercing hundreds of others. You were involved in all of their suicide cases, my... Uh, yeah, Mia was investigate, er, investigated. The company built... It, uh, this company is built on blackmail. I'm right, aren't I? What a bizarre accusation. Mr. Wrong? What is it that you sh uh, should be doing now? Investigating me? No, no, I think not. You should be searching for the one who killed Miss M uh, Oh my gosh. Miss Mia. Why do I keep saying Maya? Beep, secretary's office, hello? Mr. Wrong, I will be leaving now. Yes, sir, I'll send someone right away. Wait a second, Mr. White. What does that mean? Do I have anything I can point out? 
You're wrong. You're wrong, Mr. White. Excuse me? What I should be doing now is going after you. Just what, uh, just what are you insinu- Insinuating, yeah, there we go. Mia was on to you. She was keeping tabs. For this reason, you had April May tapping her phone. Then, Mia was murdered, and all the documents about you mysteriously disappeared. So the culprit would be... Even a child would work it out, Mr. White. You did it. Beep. Secretary's office. We won't be needing an escort for Mr. Wrong. Instead, please connect me to the public prosecutor's office. Of course, sir. One moment, please. White? That you? What are you doing calling me at a time like this? Hello, Chief Prosecutor. I've changed my mind. I want to I want to testify tomorrow. What's this about? The Mia Fey case. I witnessed the murder, you see. And thus, as a very important witness, I would like to testify. What? Why now? I thought you said you didn't want to go to court. Quietitude! I told you I changed my mind, didn't I? Oh, and one other thing. Send the police over here right away. This man is standing right in front of me. He looks dazed, but could be violent. What? What man? Are you even listening? The one, the executioner, the hatchet man, the liquidator, the killer, the, the killer man. What? Mr. White, this isn't another one of those. Chief Prosecutor, I do not believe you are in a position to freely offer your opinions to me, correct? I'm telling you to send the police now. Did I not tell you, Mr. Wrong? You are a mere lawyer. Detect, no wait, ace attorney. Why did I say detective? As was Miss Mia. How dare you? I'll point the finger at you and you will be tried as Miss Mia's killer. The case is as good as settled. No lawyer of any worth will defend you. I have friends in uh, the local lawyers association, you see? You'll be given a lawyer so stupendously inept that uh, they will make you look, e they will uh, even make you look competent. Oh wow, I feel faint. Detective Gumshoe reporting, sir. Ah, butts, H hairy butts. Right, actually, Phoenix right. And my friend's name is Larry. Oh, right. Sorry, pal. Butts was that murderer, right? Detective Gumshoe, I present to you the man who killed Miss Mia Fey. Why, what? Take this despicable human being into custody. Farewell, Mr. Wrong. Uh-oh. That's not good. Maybe I should have just let him go. And then... No, I definitely need to. Whatever. I can't believe it's only been a day since the first trial. My trial begins tomorrow. White's going to set a trap for me. And the prosecution will be in on it, of course. Edgeworth included. An attorney was assigned to, uh, to me by the state yesterday. I refused. I had an idea. Right. Mr. Right. Oh, Maya. Great. They let you out of detention. Just now, yes. It's all thanks to you. Ha, now I'm afraid we've switched places. What? You mean you? Yep, I then got arrested. I explained what had happened to Maya. I don't believe it. How many people does that man need to destroy before he's satisfied? My mother, my sister, and now you. This has gone too far. Mr. Wright, please tell me, is there anything I can do? Um, well, defend me in court. All right, you can be my defense lawyer tomorrow. All right. Huh? Leave it to me. I am me as sis- Wow. Lawyership friends and I- Was an ASP uh, that ran in your blood? I better run to the bookstore and pick up a copy of Law for Rookies. Wait, 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 wait. What, what, what? I'm kidding. It was a joke. Aw, oh, man. I was hoping that- No, really, I was kidding, but thanks. It's good to know you were on my side. And there really isn't anything you can do for me anyway. But, but I can't just sit here and do nothing. I've got to give you that, uh, give that man a piece of my mind. Just a piece? Okay. Then come to, uh, then come to the court tomorrow. Okay, I'll be there. I'll show them a thing or two. Dang, I was hoping I could just tell her what to do. It's the beginning of a new century. With, uh, yet with crime, it's still the same old story. In fact, it's gotten worse. Lengthy court proceedings are no longer realistic. Beginning a few years ago, a limit of three days was put on initial court trials. Almost all finish in a day. Most with a guilty verdict. I never thought I would end up in, de in the defendant's chair myself. Tomorrow, the true culprit will appear as a witness. This is it. It's me or him. To be continued. 
Okay, guys, we just hit the 20 minute mark, so I'm gonna end this episode here and we'll do our trial tomorrow. So, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you later. Bye.